Welcome back to E-Magazine. If you're just joining us, you're right in time for E-Trends and we've talked about a lot of the business entertainment conversations that have been happening throughout the week. And of course, I'm doing it with the one and only Archie, who is so far doing an amazing, amazing job. Thank you so much for making time once again. And we're just going to jump right into the next conversation of the day. Now, one big phenomenon during the pandemic of 2020 has been the rise of digital audio as millions of listeners of all ages turn to online music and podcasts to get them through their darkest times now spotify has been a company that has reaped the rewards of this major shift beyond streaming music spotify now has a library of over 2 million podcasts on its platform in different languages that span interests ranging from comics and politics to sports while speaking to cnbc evolves transforming media and live streaming event this past thursday chief content and advertising business officer don ostrov said their goal is to be number one in podcasts Barack Obama and Michelle Obama have signed a multi-year deal to produce podcasts exclusively for Spotify through their media company, Higher Ground Production. Now, Spotify's partnership deals have also moved the needle, including the one it has developed with DC Comics that will allow it to make narrative shows and sell ads around DC Comics characters like Batman and Harley Quinn. Now, of course, I just want to get to know um, if you believe if Spotify is talking about maximizing its growth on podcast, mm -hmm. will this give artists an opportunity to, you know, to market their music? Because now it's not just about us going to listen to music on Spotify, but also can listen to podcasts. To podcasts, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel it's a really good platform for creatives in general. Because mm -hmm. if you can put it into words and you can record it, then you can get it out there faster. Very true. Yeah. Now, during that interview, um, the, you know, the Spotify creator said um, they believe their major aim to be successful in this game of podcasts is to just help people find um, their, pe their favorite podcasts, help people find things they want to listen to. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that is a good way to be successful during, in this space of podcasts? I do, because... Well, it's hard to say, but there are people who are really into some weird things. <laughs> <laughs> and people who want to talk about everything. Like, everyone has an interest that, you know, mm -hmm. sparks mm -hmm. a passion in them. Mm -hmm. And podcasts allow you to do that. Like, mm -hmm. there's no limitation on what you can talk about. There's, you can literally have a show on a different topic every single week. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing ground. And how do you think podcasts will help, especially our, the generation of today, our generation, be able to learn about new things um, on this particular platform that allows them to connect with the creators they know or just individuals who talk about something they relate to? Well, we have been told we are a very vocal mm -hmm. generation. So podcasts allows all of us, like you can start a podcast without much financial backing mm -hmm. so it has allowed most of us to be able to you know speak out say what we want and then when it comes to the whole getting uh, connected to the creatives you like or people you want to mentor you mm -hmm. it's even better because back then even musicians you needed to give your tape to someone for them to listen to yes. you now with podcasts someone can be driving they can just you know find online what and then just start listening so your words your voice your ideas are out there mm -hmm. The people who are interested will find their way to you, then it, it, it's a connection. So mm -hmm. I feel it's really good for creatives and anyone who has anything they want to say out there. That's very true. Now, moving into the Kenyan space, um, I have been seeing a lot of podcasts be, you know, out yeah. there, left, right and center. Is it something that's growing super well in Kenya? It's starting. Mm -hmm. It's starting. Because <laughs> uh, I did some research. There were guys who actually started podcasts up some time back but it didn't really kick yes because guys didn't really exactly know what they and were and understand <laughs> and understand it because you know with podcasts uh it's mostly just talking see like radio you have like five minutes of conversation then 10 minutes of music yes now podcast is just conversation, conversation. exactly <laughs> so it didn't really pick up but right now guys are seeing how uh getting onto getting online mm -hmm. is uh is helping people get jobs and everything 
So guys are starting up again with the podcast idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And of course, apart from being an entrepreneur, you mentioned that you're part of this podcast team. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I wanted to know how you guys are faring on in the Kenyan space. Um, have you come across other different podcasts that are, you know, on the same level, kind of like competitors? Um, uh, okay, for us, our podcast... I want to say we talk about stupid things, <laughs> <laughs> but we have very, very fun conversations about everything that's affecting the youth nowadays. And that's the good thing about podcasts. There's no, you're not limited on what you can say. Yes. You know? Yes. So we have very fun conversations and we actually do work with a Kenyan podcast app. Like mm -hmm. it's just specifically for podcasts and it has so many podcasts on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to all of them, they're very diverse there's mm -hmm. no two podcasts that are the same mm -hmm. like we have one on architecture mm -hmm. we have another one where this guy just does monologues like plays by himself you mm -hmm. know and then the conversations there's one for music for djs mm -hmm. so we haven't really encountered people who are like us because mm -hmm. every like if you put two or three brains in this room and two or three brains in that room it's totally different ideas, even if it's the same topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everyone has their own diversity. That's very true. And you, uh, you had mentioned that, you know, in looking at the Kenyan Space podcast are mm -hmm. starting, we're heading somewhere. We're heading somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get to understand, uh, being someone who's already doing a podcast themselves, mm -hmm. why do you feel like in Kenya, uh, people don't have that willingness to just go download an app, what listen to a podcast the brother just go on youtube and, and just watch and just what's already there listen. why do you think <laughs> us as kenyans don't have the, the, that willingness because when you look at spaces like america and europe there's so many podcasts so many apps exactly. for podcasts and so many people have this you know different podcasts for themselves so why do you think that i think we just haven't uh we haven't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. people are not yet ready to just you know like spend the whole day just listening to one uh, like, let's say you like architecture, mm -hmm. you're not ready. It's the same way, like, let's say clubs, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. DJs <laughs> missing two, se two minutes of music all the time instead of just listening to one song the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we haven't gotten used to listening to podcasts yet, mm -hmm. but in time, once people get used to the idea of just sitting and listening to a proper conversation on a topic, mm -hmm. we'll I think there. it's true. I feel like it's the same way um, we kind of... We, you know, when YouTube started, we had a lot of YouTubers doing their thing. We yeah. were like, okay, what's going on? But now everyone's doing it and it's become a super trend. And on that note, I wanted to ask you, do you think YouTube should be scared of podcasts taking over its space? Because I'm seeing different podcasts uh, bringing in features where you can actually record yourself having the conversations. Oh, yeah. So how do you feel? Do you think YouTube is going to be threatened with this or it's just not on I the same level? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's two to <laughs> different levels. And even if it's to be threatened, it's like five, six, inch. ten years <laughs> in the future. For now, it's safe. It's, it's, safe. Like, it's like Instagram and Facebook. Facebook ends up buying Instagram. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of like situation. So YouTube will find a way. Find a way to succeed through this whole process. Well, thank you so much, Archie, for making time. Thank you so much To have a conversation me. with me. It's so much, so much fun, guys. So much fun. And I do hope you've gotten um, some perspective and views on our conversation with Archie. Remember, you'll get to catch this repeat later on on our social media platforms at Metro TV K. Also, make sure you let me know what are some of the trending topics you'd like to talk about. And send me and Archie your views on what we talked about today. Let us know what are your thoughts about podcasts and Spotify. Have you tried it out or not? Well, we are not done. We're going to have Fashion Cop next up. And then we'll be wrapping up e-magazine. We'll see you guys. Nice.